We're continuing coverage tonight on a fire from over the weekend that left a Stillman Valley family without a home. Here are some photos from Saturday night. This is around 630 off Route 72 on the west side of town in Stillman Valley near Starlight Drive. Firefighters were able to keep everyone safe and put out the fire, but the family's home is now unlivable. Today we spoke to the family to hear what they're going through. 13 News reporter Lauren Baker shows us why neighbors and friends are making sure this family is not going through this devastating time alone. On Illinois Route 72 sat a home that was very special to Jackie Jacobson. Been here a long time. Long enough for her to have great memories. Oh, I watched my grandkids grow up here and I watched a lot of the other neighborhood kids. But in the blink of an eye, the home that held all of those wonderful memories went up in flames. On Saturday, homeowner Jackie Jacobson says sparks burst from an outlet, catching the home on fire. Jacobson says she was outside at the time when she heard her smoke alarm go off. As she tried to go in and investigate what happened, her son pushed her back out. He grabbed me by my shoulders and threw me back out and said the trailer was on fire. Crews responded to the home quickly and were able to put it out, but they couldn't save the home, and Jacobson lost everything. I uh, saved the money up to buy uh, presents through Amazon, and it's, it's gone. But in this time of despair, she says her friends, neighbors, and even community members have started to help out by raising money for her and her family. So there's a lot of them that are coming out and, you know, a lot of them are just really wanting to help. Yep. So Eric, and while she is thankful people are helping her get by, she encourages others to take nothing for granted. Love your family. Make sure you have uh, your smoke alarms working. Because in a matter of seconds, your life could change like hers forever. For your 13 Weather Authority, Lauren Baker, 13 News. And so far, Jacobson's friends and neighbors have been able to raise a couple hundred dollars for her.